Assalamu alaikum, Halima here, your Quran lifestyle coach and founder of Quran Rehab. So Ramadan is literally around the corner. How exciting, the month of the Quran. And interestingly, it's a month where you'll find yourself typically falling into one of three different categories of people. Now, the first category are those who are amongst the Huffar, those who have completed their memorization of the Quran. And what you'll find is that they're really eagerly revising everything that they've memorized during this month. And then there's the second group of people, and they are those who are in the process of memorizing Qur'an. And during this blessed month, what you'll see is that they really start to pick up the pace with regards to their Qur'an memorization because of a newfound boost of energy and enthusiasm. And then there's a third group of people. And these people don't necessarily memorize Qur'an in any scheduled or organized way. But what happens is that during Ramadan, they become truly inspired and touched by the beauty of the Qur'an that's showcased around them whether that's on Muslim TV channels that are being played or during tarawih prayers, etc. And inside their heart, there's a newfound love for the Qur'an that's born or the love that's contained within their hearts towards the Qur'an is revived again and increased even further. A desire to memorize something from the Qur'an, whether that's a surah or some special verses um, that their parents used to recite to them at bedtime when they were young or certain verses that brought them you know, comfort during their personal struggles or simply some part of the Qur'an that really resonates with them, that, that really touches their heart and they would love to be able to recite in the Salah by heart. The fact is Ramadan just wouldn't be Ramadan without the powerful presence of the Qur'an and its memorization. Okay, so you have loads of people interacting and engaging with the Qur'an, so what exactly is the problem? Well, if you fall into one of the last two groups of people I mentioned, so you're either in the process of memorizing Qur'an or you have a new or rekindled desire to memorize some special verses for yourself, then I'm sure you can all relate to the following situation that I have done myself in the past as well. Have you ever been in the situation where you've heard the fantastic news that another individual has completed their memorization of the Qur'an and you are dying to ask them that golden question? You know which question I'm talking about, the how did you do it question. Now the truth is that when we pose this question to our Hafad, let's just admit that innately we're kind of wishing to receive that secret formula that's going to help us with our own personal Qur'an memorization goals, be that to memorize an ayah, surah or juz or even the whole Qur'an in the quickest and the easiest way possible. But unfortunately, what usually happens is that we walk away none the wiser, maybe even slightly disappointed and deflated, right? And that's because most of us are met with the very common answers of consistency, hard work and du'a, for example. And the reality is that although most of us are really genuine and passionate about our individual Qur'an memorization goals, we just get frustrated because we don't really understand exactly how these principles shared by our Hufab, like consistency, hard work and du'a, for example, translate to us and our personal Qur'an memorization journeys because our incorporation of them so far and our practice of them have yielded little success. Now I totally get this because I myself for a very long period of time was on this personal quest, on this personal journey to discover the best method of memorizing Qur'an in the quickest and easiest way possible, you know, to find out all the top tips and techniques out there. I remember reading various books, attending various different courses and lectures, both from our Islamic scholars and our Hafad, as well as from the scientists and psychologists in the field of the mind and memorization. And after a lot of analysis and collecting a lot of data over the years, it became very apparent to me that it wasn't so much about finding the right answer as much as it was that I was actually asking the wrong question to begin with. Because if we were really to analyze the answers given to us by our Hafaf to the question of how did you do it, we would find that it actually points to key traits and behavioral habits that these people have built within themselves and their lifestyles that have actually helped them to achieve their Quran memorization goals, as opposed to the focus on the methods and processes of how to do so that they might have adopted in their pursuit. And that's because contrary to our expectations, there isn't one perfect or best way to memorize Qur'an. In fact, there are various different methods, strategies and processes out there. And this is something that actually shouldn't dishearten us, but something that we should actually rejoice at and we should actually celebrate. And that's because we humans too are just so diverse in our personal abilities, in our preferred learning styles, etc. And this reality, it provides us first and foremost with the opportunity to discover more about ourselves and the best ways that we operate on a deeper level. 
And then importantly, it also gives us a greater chance of actually attaining our Quran memorization goals, inshallah. So there are hundreds of thousands of Muslims around the world who have memorized Quran that come from various different countries, talking various different mother tongues, that have different traditions in their Quran memorization styles even. But if you were to analyze closely enough, you would find that all of these Hafath have equipped themselves with very similar key traits and habits that they've built within themselves that have really allowed them to pursue the journey of Quran memorization to a successful end. So to succeed in memorizing any amount of Quran, inshallah, it actually comes down to the internal resources that we develop within ourselves. So the real golden question is not how did you do it, but it's in fact how did you discipline yourself and build within yourself the necessary habits to achieve your Quran memorization goals. And the answer to this real golden question is where my very new special ebook comes in that I'm so excited to be announcing today. So what I've done is I have combined all my years of extensive research into the topic of memorization and all the analysis that I've done into the behavioral traits of her father, etc. And I've gathered them all together alongside my general experience and knowledge as a personal development trainer and Quran lifestyle coach over the last nine years to produce for you a very unique ebook that I want to gift you with free of charge this Ramadan, detailing the seven top productive habits of a Hafid. Now in this ebook, not only am I sharing with you the seven amazing and game-changing habits, but I'm also gonna provide you with a step-by-step -step framework as to how you can personally embody those habits and how you can integrate them within your personal lifestyle, inshallah. And like I said, I'm gifting this to you, this ebook free of charge, this Ramadan because those who know me well will tell you that I'm really passionate about and I feel deeply honored to be able to help to serve others in the development of their Quran journeys. It's part of my personal life mission and I simply wanted to be able to gift you with something that's going to significantly impact and contribute towards your Quran memorization in this blessed month because I know just how much the discoveries detailed in this ebook have actually benefited my own Quran memorization journey and has done for hundreds of others too, alhamdulillah. Now, in order to get instant, free, lifelong access to this ebook, it is as simple as just clicking on the button on your screen and filling in your name and email, inshallah. And I'd just like to end this video by quickly sharing with you one of my ultimate favorite quotes, and that's a quote by Khabbab ibn al-Ard, who said, do whatever you wish to get close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but know that you will never get close to him with something more beloved to him than his own words, meaning the Quran. So I just wanted to take this moment to sincerely congratulate and celebrate your praiseworthy intentions of drawing closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his Quran, which you've demonstrated today by taking the time out to watch this video and inshallah download the ebook related to the subject. It's a real honor to cross paths with people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has selected to draw close to. And I say that because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he never acts haphazardly. Everything happens with intent. So he's chosen you to stumble amongst this video, amongst thousands of other Muslims to potentially download this ebook, inshallah, with the intention of trying to get closer to him through his Quran. And that is a great honor. And I thank you for allowing me to be part of your Quran journey, inshallah. I really hope you enjoy and benefit from the ebook, inshallah, and I wish you the best of success in your Quran journey. May you have a fantastic Ramadan. May it be your best one yet, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.